All right, ladies, so first system we're gonna really dive into is the oxidative. So this is gonna be your aerobic system. This is the one that we are really working pr probably most in the gym. Um, I typically find I have two types of clients. I have clients that want to sweat for 40 minutes straight, low impact. They do jumping jacks like if there's a two minute rest. Um, and then I have the people who wanna like high intensity, lift heavy all day for under 20 minutes. Um, so you're, you're, both of them have a benefit and I'll kind of break into the why behind them. But when you see aerobic in the gym, we're gonna be typically training two types. So you'll have aerobic endurance. So this is gonna be long durations, um, you know, typically 20 plus AMRAP, not really a rest period implemented in. And then aerobic power, which I tend to prefer and program probably a little bit more. And that's going to provide a, a length of aerobic activity followed by a, a pretty su a substantial rest. So think about an eight minute ram AMRAP and followed by a four minute rest an eight minute RAM, AMRAP followed by a four minute rest. So things like that. So obviously with that, we're gonna exert a little bit more power because we do have that rest period coming up um, versus aerobic endurance is gonna be a slow steady pace throughout. But the thing to actually know is that both of them are gonna be actually burning essentially the same around amount of calories, if not more on the power side. Even though you're implementing more rest because you're exerting more power, you're actually gonna get a little bit more bang for our buck. And I'll break that down a little bit more in the glycolytic phase. Oftentimes we think if we're not moving, then we're not burning calories and that's actually not the case. So with aerobic conditioning, it's really, really great for recovery um, because it is low impact and it doesn't put a lot of stress on the body. It's going to be a movement that's kind of great to do in between those hard and heavy days. The downside about aerobic um, is that our body adjusts to it. So basically, it's not necessarily the best domain to work for fat burning. Um, granted, you are going to be burning calories during that hour that you do aerobic training, um, what happens when you leave the gym is the calories stop burning. So it doesn't create a metabolic disturbance on your body. So what that means, when we talked about progressive overload, right? If you think about aerobic training, if you go in and you work out three days a week for an hour and, that, and you just start doing that, that's great. And your body's going to respond to that. But eventually, your body adapts to aerobic training because again, it's not adding stress, it's not creating a metabolic disturbance. So you adjust to that. So let's say you ramp up to five days a week, 60 minutes. Great, awesome, your body adjusts to it, and now that five days a week is also your new normal. So it's not gonna look at it as an extra amount of activity. So really, where do you go from there? Do you start doing aerobic, aerobic activity for 90 minutes five days a week, two hours five days a week? Like, it's very tough to progressively overload aerobic um, activity. So that is why it's not something that you actually really want to do five or six days a week. And that is it. If you were to go to the gym and sit on the treadmill, which I'm sure many of you did at some point in your life, yeah, you might have gotten some results, but then nothing happens. And there's a reason behind that. So it's super important that we are mixing up the modalities in order to create that disturbance on the metabolism. And we'll get more into that in the next video.